Hello everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. Today's video follows up a series of shocking events that happened over this past weekend with the top players in the AI world. If you didn't see my last video, OpenAI's board of directors that oversees the company fired Sam Altman, who is the CEO that took them from a $0 valuation to a $90 billion valuation. Since Sam Altman has been CEO, OpenAI really hasn't missed, so this came as a shock to everybody, both internal and externally. The board of directors also demoted someone named Greg Brockman, who was the chairman of the board of directors. Then they appointed Mira Marati as interim CEO of OpenAI, meaning a temporary CEO. Shortly after, Greg announced that he will be quitting OpenAI and follow Sam wherever he goes. And by the way, today we now know where Sam and Greg are going, and potentially a lot of OpenAI. Now before we dive into the brand new stuff, a quick quick word from our sponsor. Please remember this channel would not be possible without its sponsors, so check this one out. If you're interested in learning how AI can actually be used to make you or your business thrive, look no further than today's sponsor, HubSpot. Listen, creating large amounts of blog posts, social media posts, or even emails can be a lot for any individual or company. Now fortunately, HubSpot is here to save the day. You see, HubSpot has a brand new AI content writer. It's an an AI assistant that's integrated directly into HubSpot's current marketing tools that allows you to scale up your content output without any additional budget or resources. Now I gotta say guys, the AI they're using is pretty darn good. It's fast and definitely custom tailored for these specific copywriting use cases. It's fantastic for emails, which is what I've used it mostly for. They've even got this smart rewrite mode that allows you to highlight and automatically rewrite certain pieces of content until you're satisfied. Best part about this is that you are able to start for completely free with this AI copywriting. So to check them out and get started today for free, click the link down in the description below. I wanna thank HubSpot for sponsoring today's video. This channel would not be possible without sponsors. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Check out this letter from the internal OpenAI team directed to the board of directors at OpenAI. By the way, this is now backed by 650 of the 770 OpenAI employees, so the vast majority of OpenAI employees. <clears throat> to the board of directors at OpenAI. OpenAI is the world's leading AI company. We, the employees of OpenAI, have developed the best models and pushed the field to new frontiers. Our work on AI safety and governance helps shape global norms. The products we build are used by millions of people around the world. Until now, the company we work for and cherish has never been in a stronger position. You know, that is absolutely a true statement. I have no qualms with that. The process through which you terminated Sam Altman and removed Greg Brockman from the board has jeopardized all of this work and undermined our mission and company. Their mission, by the way, is to develop AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, that benefits all of humanity. And that plays a key role in all of this and some of the main speculations around the events leading up to today. Your conduct has made it clear you did not have the competence to oversee OpenAI. When we all unexpectedly learned of your decision, the leadership team of OpenAI acted swiftly to stabilize the company, which clearly did not work. They carefully listened to your concerns and tried to cooperate with you on all grounds. Despite many requests for specific facts for your allegations, you have never provided any written evidence. Some say that this written evidence could be behind signed NDAs, but again, we'll get into those theories later. They also increasingly realized you were not capable of carrying out your duties and were negotiating in bad faith. The leadership team suggested that the most stabilizing path forward, the one that would best serve our mission to produce AGI that benefits all of humanity, the company and stakeholders and employees to the public would be for you to resist design, of course the board, and put in place a qualified board that could lead the company forward in stability. Leadership worked with you around the clock to find a mutually agreeable outcome, yet within two days of your initial decision, you again 
replace the interim CEO, Mira Moratti, against the best interests of the company. Because of course, now we know she is on Sam's side. You also informed the leadership team that allowing the company to be destroyed would be consistent with the mission of OpenAI. Essentially, allowing OpenAI to be destroyed in the board's eyes is consistent with the mission of building AGI that benefits all of humanity. Really, really concerning and strange stuff. Again, we're going to get into that theory later. Your actions have made it obvious that you are incapable of overseeing OpenAI. We are unable to work for or with people that lack competence, judgment, and care for our mission and employees. We, the undersigned, may choose to resign from OpenAI and join the newly announced Microsoft subsidiary run by Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. Microsoft has assured us that there are positions for all OpenAI employees at this new subsidiary should we choose to join. We will take this step imminently unless all current board members resign and the board appoints two new lead independent directors such as Brett Taylor and Will Hurd and reinstates Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. You can see among these 12 people here, we've got Mira, who was that interim CEO, Ilya Sutskever, who is a pretty big part of this as well. We'll talk about him in a little bit, but yeah, it is not looking good for OpenAI. That is easy to say. Let's take a look at what Sam and Greg Brockman are now up to with Microsoft. Check out this tweet by the now ex-CEO of OpenAI. The first and last time I ever wear one of these. And he's got his little OpenAI guest right here. As you can see, some big people in the AI Twitter world are responding to this. A nice deep fake of Sam Altman as Giga Chad, which is pretty hilarious. I think they misspelled CEO on your badge. Anyways, here's the CEO of Microsoft. We remain committed to our partnership with OpenAI. Hilarious, by the way, seeing as right now OpenAI is collapsing. And have confidence in our product roadmap. Our ability to continue and innovate with everything we announced at Microsoft Ignite. And in continuing to support our customers and partners, we look forward to getting to know Emmett Shear and OpenAI's new leadership team and working with them. And we're also extremely excited to share the news that Sam Altman, the ex-CEO of OpenAI, and Greg Brockman, ex-chairman of OpenAI, together with their other colleagues, will be joining Microsoft to lead a new advanced AI research team. We look forward to moving quickly to provide them with the resources needed for their success, aka lots of GPUs. Elon responds, now they will have to use Teams, which is pretty funny considering they fired Sam Altman over Google Meets. Now, Sam Altman responded to that specific tweet by Satya, the CEO of Microsoft, by saying the mission continues and I presumably am going to assume that they're talking about the mission to develop safe AGI. Now, you know, I have my own opinions about Microsoft and whether they should be trusted with that, but as you can see, Satya responded here, I'm super excited to have you join as CEO of this new group, Sam, setting a new pace for innovation. We've learned a lot over the years about how to give founders and innovators space to build independent entities and cultures within Microsoft, including GitHub, Hub, Mojang Studios, and LinkedIn. I am looking forward to having you do the same. Elon responds, wild times, Satya FTW. As you can see, all of these huge AI people in the Twitter world responding. Robert Scoble saying, incredible move. Nathan Lance saying, well played. Linus saying, well played, sir. Min Choi saying, this will be in the history books. I mean, it's just insane. So I know I'm doing a lot of jumping back and forth here, but let's dive into what Emmett Shear has to say here again. This is the previous Twitch CEO. CEO. And by the way, Twitch isn't really doing the best, but this is who the board of directors for OpenAI appointed to become the new interim CEO of OpenAI. Here's his plan for OpenAI. Today, I got a call inviting me to consider a once in a lifetime opportunity to become the interim CEO of OpenAI. After consulting with my family and reflecting just for a few hours, I accepted. Again, Emmett Shear had recently resigned from the role as CEO of Twitch due to the birth of his new nine month old son. So he took this job because he believes that OpenAI is one of the most important companies currently in existence. I don't disagree with that. When the board asked me, I did not take the decision lightly. Ultimately, I felt like I had a duty to help if I could. You know, I think like as important as OpenAI is, truthfully, they're not as important maybe as even open source is in the long term. So I think even if OpenAI were to die out, quote unquote, well, AI is not doomed at all. It's not like OpenAI is holding AI up. 
by any means. It's really the talent of the developers, and especially the open source devs, that are keeping AI afloat, I think, under the, under the hood of things. So he spoke with a board, some major partners, listened to employees. Partnership with Microsoft remains strong. We'll see how long that lasts. And Emmett's priority in the coming weeks is apparently going to be to make sure that they serve all of their customers well. OpenAI employees are extremely impressive, totally agree, and they are very mission-driven in the extreme. Yeah, ready to to leave OpenAI to preserve that mission, developing AGI for all of humanity. Sam's removal has been handled very badly, understatement, which has seriously damaged our trust, absolutely. Three-point plan for the next 30 days, hire an independent investigator to dig into the entire process leading up to this point and generate a full report. Not a bad move. I think we all would love to know what has really happened. And again, we're going to get into some of the speculation behind this, but uh, yeah, I think we all deserve to hear the truth at this moment. Continue to speak to as many of our employees, partners, investors, and customers as possible. Take good notes and share key takeaways. Again, that's not a bad idea. That's, you know, what I think most people would do in that situation. Reform the management and leadership team in light of recent departures into an effective force to drive results for our customers. Depending on the results of everything we learn from these, I will dive into changes into the organization up to and including pushing strongly for significant governance changes if necessary. I will be rolling these out as they become clear over the next 30 days. OpenAI's stability and success are too important to allow turmoil to disrupt them like this. Again, I'm not so sure. Unless, you know, the risk is that everything they've built so far gets leaked. It depends on what kind of tech they have. Oh, PPS. This is important. Before I took the job, I checked on the reasoning behind the change. The board did not remove Sam over any specific disagreement on safety. Their reasoning was completely different from that. That's a huge note. I'm not crazy enough to take this job without board support for commercializing our awesome models. Now, truthfully, who is winning in this situation? It's Microsoft. I mean... <sighs> That does smell a little bit fishy, I will say. My theory here is that there was some sort of high-level disagreement between Sam, Greg Brockman, and the rest of OpenAI's board. We still don't know what this disagreement is. The current interim CEO points out that it is not about AI safety or AGI safety, yet the rest of OpenAI seems to think that it is about AGI safety to some degree. I, I really don't know what this disagreement could have been about, my guess is it's not something that's worth destroying the company over. The truth is that the entirety of OpenAI seems to be in disagreement with the board. 650 employees out of 770, plus like all of the top level people's Mira, obviously Sam and Greg, Ilya or Ia. I mean, it's just nuts. And oh, here's Microsoft coming in to swoop in and pick everything up. All for, as that meme we just saw from Elon points out, the price of a boba, essentially nothing. Is it possible that somehow this was all, you know, the doing of Microsoft? Did Satya plan this? I don't want to be conspiracy theorist, but it is a possibility. OpenAI's board was honestly too small, first of all. It was like five people, and it wasn't in my opinion, diverse enough to represent the best interests of humanity. And when I say diverse, I'm talking about the brains and opinions of different people. It should have been spread out more so that something like this didn't occur. Now, I want to talk about one of the scariest theories regarding this, which I don't believe is true, especially considering what the current interim CEO said. So this view is presented to us by Gary Marcus, and Gary Marcus is no doubt a leading expert in the AI world. So this is a, this is a solid take. Gary points out the common view, which is the one that I honestly believe, which is that the board decision was a screw-up. He says that it wasn't a screw-up from the board at all. He's saying it was a Hail Mary, a last-ditch resort. The board's sole job was to look out for humanity humanity in terms of AGI, not to protect the brand. They must have seen danger in something Sam was doing. Could they have achieved AGI internally and had a disagreement about that? They must have known that everyone in the world would be watching and that their decision would not be popular. That is definitely true, but people can kind of get in their own heads. They proceeded anyways, despite likely personal costs and despite knowing that they might not succeed because they felt there was no other option. Even now, their sole goal seems to be making sure that their successors protect the mission. The board is completely on the ropes. Almost everyone hates them. They have no equity at stake. This is a very good point. Nor Sam Altman, the previous CEO of OpenAI, or any of the board members actually have any equity in the company at all. The board is in a 
no win situation and yet apparently this board is still fighting to have a replacement that respects their mission. He says that this suggests they can't unsee something, potentially AGI. AI in design points out if there's something they really can't see then why wouldn't they just reveal it to us? Gary says that it's likely under an NDA or legal liability. Now my problem with this whole take of they developed AGI, Sam wanted to commercialize it and the board wanted to protect humanity with it by firing Sam has a, a pretty big hole and that hole is the fact that, well, as we just saw earlier, the board did not remove Sam over any specific disagreement on safety. Their reasoning was completely different from that, coming right from the new interim CEO. So I just... I can't see that theory holding up at this point anymore, and I hope that it's not true. We've also got some investment implications from Gavin Baker on Twitter. Gives us some speculation into how things might shake out with the current direction that they are in. Now, Gavin's first opinion here has kind of been proven wrong, like I said at this point. He says it seems like the safety faction won. Again, new interim CEO just said this really wasn't about safety. He does say it will probably take three to nine months for the new research lab at Microsoft to approximate where OpenAI is today. Unlikely that they can flip a switch on and immediately have a GPT-4 level AI, and perhaps more importantly, a GPT-5 working tomorrow. Absolutely true. Sam was quoted in saying that there was a breakthrough just in the past few weeks, pretty massive one, and that's probably related to GPT-5. NVIDIA's senior AI scientist, Dr. Jim Fan, estimates about nine months for GPT-4 equivalents from the new lab. It's important that the board of OpenAI can dissolve the commercial agreement whenever they can agree AGI has been attained. This is important to note. Yes, in the agreement with OpenAI and Microsoft, once AGI has been attained, they can dissolve their partnership. There are hints from those at OpenAI that believe this is imminent. Personally, I don't think so. I don't think they have AGI and I don't think we're particularly close to it, at least not in the short term. Stated simply, if the board believes GPT-5 is AGI, then Microsoft has zero rights to GPT-5. It is now a wide open race to surpass GPT-4 and approximate the putative GPT-5. Microsoft and Google will both be driving hard to surpass GPT-4. Reality is an in-house lab led by Sam and Greg might be better for Microsoft than the existing arrangement given the AGI clause. However, large companies are more cautious than startups, so will likely go slower than OpenAI's previous torrid pace. I suspect Grok will end up being a common destination for many of the OpenAI engineers who do not want to go to Microsoft given that Elon was instrumental in recruiting the original team as an OpenAI co-founder. Don't forget, Elon was a co-founder at OpenAI. You think he's not laughing his pants off at this whole situation? He totally is. And you know, Grok seems to be a pretty decent model so far and they've got some good ideas, so that's not a bad prediction. All of this may be better than regulations for helping ensure a multipolar AI world, which is the most important outcome as a human. I don't entirely disagree with that. I think that that very well could be true. This is likely to effectively create somewhat of a pause and allow others to catch up. More likely allow open source to just dig in its heels even deeper. All of this drama, and yes, I mean, that's really what this has been, drama, increasingly seems to have been sparked by some combination of GPT-5 being more powerful than expected, i.e. AGI is slash was possible, in 2024. Perhaps some freelancing by Sam with respect to raising money for OpenAI affiliated hardware slash semiconductor companies not consistently candid was strong language. It's essential to remember that the board's fiduciary duty was to the nonprofit and AI safety. Yeah, they were committed to the nonprofit and AI safety as the board, but according to some really good sources, that just wasn't the reason he was fired. The new board is going to have the same obligation to the safety focused mission of the nonprofit. But I feel like, you know, because all of those OpenAI employees are calling for this resignation of the board it's not about this like to me that that seems like some evidence we can almost infer and also i feel like a lot of the open ai employees aren't just going to be driven solely by money i feel like a lot of the developers are very safety focused either way i do agree with this a new lab may actually be better for everyone except the employees of open ai who were sent to make tens of millions in the secondary sale and while he feels for them he's also confident that no matter where they go they're going to make plenty of money yeah i mean ai research is where the money's at anyways the money 
hasn't gone anywhere. The AI power hasn't gone anywhere. Gavin Baker does give us some strong evidence here. This is straight from the OpenAI website about Microsoft. While our partnership at Microsoft includes a multi-billion dollar investment, OpenAI remains an entirely independent company governed by the OpenAI nonprofit, and that is the board. Microsoft has no board seat and no control. And as explained above, AGI is explicitly carved out of all commercial and IP licensing agreements. The board determines when we've attained AGI. Again, by AGI, we mean a highly autonomous system that outperforms humans at most economically valuable work. Such a system is excluded from IP licenses and other commercial terms with Microsoft. All in all, there's a few things that we can say for sure. There are some deep disagreements inside of OpenAI, which is now kind of dissolving into Microsoft's hands at this point. Most of OpenAI seems to be on Sam's side through all of this, but the board of directors, not so much, kind of doubled down for the most part on what they believe protects the mission. Both sides are saying that this is what needs to happen to protect the mission, and both sides disagree. Personally, I don't trust Microsoft, honestly, with AGI, and I don't trust them to continue the mission of AGI for humanity. Without more details, though, I really can't make a decision on which side I'm on. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I will leave you with one last piece as this drama still unfolds and continues. Rowan Chung gives us an update. Sam Altman is still trying to return as OpenAI's CEO and kind of glue everything back together. The Microsoft deal with Sam Altman and Greg is not finalized yet. Ilya Sutskever has also flipped to support Altman, previously was on the board's side, but two more board members must change their mind for Sam Altman and Greg Brockman to return. So things could go back to normal, theoretically speaking, although it doesn't seem likely. And Ilya Sutskever, by the way, who again used to be on the board side and originally helped make that decision, was trusted by Elon, again, one of the people who actually kind of built the original OpenAI team. Ilya has a very good moral compass and does not seek power. He wouldn't take such drastic action unless he felt it was absolutely necessary. Of course, Elon's not worried anymore. Sutskever has now flip-flopped to support Altman again. Looks like this is turning into a three-piece drama series. I'll keep you guys updated with another video, I'm sure, kind of wrapping everything up. I hope it wraps up by this week. I've got plenty more videos that are super fun and super interesting coming out later this week, next week, so stay tuned and subscribe for that. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter for live updates on this, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.